Hi, it's day nine, and I'm on a cycle ride, one I've never done before. It's uh, heading up to the Von 2 area of the mountain, but amazing where I am at the moment. I'm actually in line now of the viewpoint where I cycle on the other side of the hill. So I think I'm only a quarter of the way, and I've been cycling for half an hour. So this is certainly a good workout. The hill is much steeper. So it's not for the faint-hearted, but uh, it's um, a good workout. So let's keep going. Well, this has been a fascinating experience here on day eight to uh, have the energy and uh, strength to climb quite a steep mountain on the opposite side of what we normally climb, uh, and to basically uh, see our property, but the mountain side behind our property. And as you can see there from Kanagu and everything, see you also want fairer away in the distance. This is the backdrop of our property. Almost like above the mountain, above our property. And over to the left hand corner there is Mont Ferrer. That's day 10. And when I cycle up to La Forge, I never thought I'd end up here. It's St. Laurent de Sardines. Um, I think I've been here once before, I'm not sure, but a uh, good cycle ride up the hill, nice smooth hill, steady climb, non-stop all the way, very very nice cycle ride. Look at Kanagu from up here, and the bells ringing. Hoping that it would take me down to this path here, that will lead up into the mountain up there so I can go for a walk or plan to come for a drive and go for a walk up there Tracy. This is one of the small viewpoints at St. Laurent de Sedans, and you can see the uh, sort of church in the background, and of course, Kanagu over there. Good deed time again. Sorry for water cyclists, when they come down here, look at that. Out walking again, day 10. Get longer after I walk and I can cycle. So keep active and enjoy the view. Day 11 and uh, it's Wednesday and we're heading to Pratt's. And one of the most sunniest days I've had in 11 days. Let's see you at Pratt's. Well, I've just climbed to the top of uh, Pratt's the Models Castle and uh, just find one of those little yellow signs over here that reflect the walkway. Let's see where it goes because one thing would be nice to do is to drive to Pratt's, park up at the bottom and go for a walk up to the castle and we'll keep on going and find this sign here and the sign says Call the Cavanel. I just think it takes us up to a peak up there So basically, I'm up above the castle of Prastamolo, because the castle is just over there.
isolating for the past 11 days. And uh, although I'm looking forward to going home, I'm a bit worried about what's happening with the increase of uh, the virus over there so, uh, and around the world. So uh, I look at this wonderful view, the beautiful mountains, and the local peacefulness. Well, that's the view here in uh, Pastor Molo. I'm going to head back now. I might be treating myself to a hot chocolate. I wonder, should I? Me and my bike on the steps. Hot chocolate. Boom! Well, it's not me here in Preston Model having hot chocolate. Decided to come back because there was only a couple of tables outside, nobody there, and didn't want to sit on my own. I'd rather be there with Tracy uh, when she comes back in April. But uh, nice, I knew the sun was shining, so a nice warm balcony here at the uh, our little place with some Thai soup and some apple and a banana. And a few crispies. Ah, so day 11. Out for my walk again. Day 12 today and uh, last day of cycling because tomorrow I'm going home. So I'm um, off now to Surrey. Wonderful cycle paths along old railway track lines have been cemented over. Providing cyclists and walkers and dog walkers an opportunity to uh, see the countryside. Love going through those old tunnels. So I'm at the entrance of a climb to a hill I've always wanted to go up, just down towards Surrey. So if we go over the train track bridge after you come through the tunnel. Bike all locked up. Day 12. Let's go for that walk up the hill. It shouldn't take too long to get up here because it's not very high. And behind me is not Surrey, just a little village before Surrey. This last bit is uh, pretty steep. A few more yards to the top. You can see the view behind me. You can see the bridge I was referring to, the railway bridge over the River Tech towards Surrey. So I achieved the top of the hill, got the drone up, and um, that town just down there before Surrey is La Cabanasi. Um, that's hopefully pronounced properly, La Cabanes. And um, now we're going to head back down to the bike, hopefully it's still there. So over the last few days, uh, since I opened up the free well package for my wide angle lens for the Osmo, I've now been using it constantly. Um, I find it very handy, very useful. And it's wonderful, it's just at arm's length, you're getting a shot that you can see now. And it's practical, it's easy, 
Um, I have found that uh, the Guasmo does start up with the um, lens on, but it fell off once. Luckily it was just in the bedroom, but um, I wouldn't want it to fall off in the sea or on a boat or in the grassy area or concrete. So top tip is, certainly with the free well wide angle lens, is to put the lens on after you've started it up, as per the recommendation by Freewell. You can turn it off with it on, because the process it goes through doesn't hit the lens on the base. It hits the lens on the base when you start it up. Good quality footage, and uh, capturing those wonderful memories. What life is all about, living the dream. Ah, boom, it's still there. Change my shoes and get back on the bike. Oh, I'm hungry. I always make sure I think it was it. Well, thank you for visiting me here in France. Hope you enjoyed the footage. I recommend the hospital pocket for cycling. Uh, that was a good cycle ride. Uh, I'm so looking forward to some lunch and a drink and uh, it's been so far 12 days of lots of exercise. <laughs>